Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to another mega gadget collection. These are the videos where I show you a whole range of technology and gadgets all in the one video. Now very, very quickly I'll bring your attention to the video description. You can find links to all of the manufacturer's websites as well as links to where you can buy these products. And last but not least, there are also shortcut links. Now, I hope that you watch the video all the way through, but if you don't wanna watch it all the way through, and you're only interested in one or two products, you can click those shortcut links and it will take you right to the relevant part in the video. Now, very, very quickly, a couple of little bits for you. First of all, I get asked all the time what camera I record with. Well, sometimes I record with the camera I'm actually testing at the time, and the current camera I've got in the studio is the new Canon EOS 70D. So what you're seeing now is video footage captured with the 70D, and I've got it in autofocus with a servo AF switched on, so you might see the focus hunting a tiny little bit, but I'm doing this really so you get to see how the 70D performs. I have got a custom white balance as well, I've got manual audio levels, and I've got an external microphone, lapel microphone plugged in. So you'll get to see how this 70D performs, and I think it performs really well indeed. And when I'm showing you the products, you'll see how quick that autofocus mechanism actually works. Now the second thing I wanna do, now I don't normally do this in the Mega Gadget collections, is a little bit of a teaser. I'm not actually gonna show you this product in this video, but I wanted to draw your attention to it. It says on the product packaging, smarter than ever. This is the Yellowtech IXM microphone. And what this product does is it's a handheld microphone, doesn't connect via USB, doesn't connect via XLR. In fact, it records direct to memory card. So very, very high-end professional microphone that records direct to memory card. And I'll be unboxing this on the channel really, really soon and also giving you some uh, audio demonstrations and a full review. So do keep an eye out for that on the channel, the Yellowtech IXM. So that's the little teaser. As I say, I don't normally do teasers in these videos, but I really wanted to, to show you that product. And now we move on to the main collection of gadgets. And which one shall we show you first? Well, let's start over this side with a product from Anchor. Now I have actually showed you these before. The website you need to check out is ianchor.com and this is their Astro 3 external battery. It's got a massive capacity, 12,000 milliamp hours. 12,000 milliamp hours. That will probably recharge something like an iPad or an iPhone 5 more than three or four times off of a single charge on this battery. So this is what the product packaging looks like. And the actual product itself is here. Now you do get a little sort of carry pouch for the product. And this is what the product looks like. Oh, the lights come on. That's giving you a little clue as to some of the feedback you get from the device. And you do get a cable in the box as well. Now I'm gonna show you this cable first. On this cable, we have got uh, a tip on here for a 30 pin dot connector. So that will charge the previous generation iPhone 5 or indeed the, uh, sorry, iPhone 4, iPhone 4S or indeed the previous generations of iPads full-size USB on this end, but it's even more convenient than that because this little adapter comes off and you've got a micro USB connection just there. So this is really very useful cable. So we pop that adapter back on. And then this is what the actual battery looks like. On this side here, we've got an input for charging. If I just get this to focus in, input for charging on this side, and then we've got various outputs. We've got some universal outputs, which you can use for regular charging of devices. And then you've got a smart output as well, which is a higher ampage output for something like an iPad 4, and it charges really quickly. And then we've got the anchor branding on this side here. And then if we give it a shake, let's hope this works, there we go, the little LED light comes on when you shake it to show you how much charge the internal battery's got. So a really fantastic product. It's got this soft rubber touch finish to it as well. And I think it's a really great device because we've got 12,000 milliamp hours in quite a compact package. And yes, it's got a little bit of weight to it, but it's not too heavy to carry around all the time. So this is the Anchor Astro rechargeable battery pack. 
very, very useful device. It means you don't run out of juice in your devices whilst you're out and about. And don't forget also, some people say these are only really useful for the likes of uh, smartphones, for example, but that's not true because a lot of compact cameras nowadays charge via USB. So if you've got a compact camera and you're out snapping photos and you run out of battery, you can use something like this to actually charge it as well. And I like the little shake function as well to give you the little LED coming up. Really, really nice. So that's the Anker Astro 3. So let's pop that to one side. Now next, I'm gonna show you a product that I've got my iPad in already. I've shown you Zugu products before. This is the Zugu Case Genius Pro. So this is what the product packaging looks like. Very, very nice. It's got some speaker enhancement built into the case. I've got my doubts about that. Adjustable to any angle. It's got an adjustable hand strap, corner drop protection, and headrest mount straps built into it as well. So plenty of features. And as I say, I've already got my iPad, almost said iPhone there, I've already got my iPad in this case, the Case Genius Pro. Let me just grab my iPad. Now it has got the smart sort of wake feature, so when you open up the case, it does wake up your device automatically, so automatic sleep and wake. And it's really nice, it's got a nice texture to it, a lovely smell, I have to do the sniff test. Wow, that smells really nice, love that. And then this is the strap that they were on about, so it's got this strap, and the reason you've got this is so that you can hold on, or put your, your hand in the back and hold onto it really easily whilst you're working. So that's a really nice feature. And then you can also use this strap to actually put it onto a headrest of a car. So if you've got children, and you've got a couple of these, maybe one for each child, put them onto the back of the headrest of the front seats, and then you can actually let them watch a movie on your iPad whilst you're traveling. No more, are we there yet? They're just being engaged in whatever's on the iPad. And then you'll notice on the front edge, apart from the Zugu logo here, we've got these Velcro bits. And this is because when you pull the back stand out, flip this round like so, you can adjust the angle and it just locks on to the Velcro strip. So you've got a multi-angled iPad stand as well. Great for viewing back videos or typing. When you put it down into a low position, there is a little bit of bounce, a little bit of flex, but not too bad. So it's ideal for typing on as well. And then of course we've got the inside, which I should show you, which is this really soft material, uh, not gonna scratch the screen at all. And it's just beautifully presented inside the case. Very, very nice case. This is the Zugu Case Genius Pro. Well worth checking out. Oh, I should also tell you there's cutouts for all of your ports as well. Your cutouts on the bottom, cutouts on the top, access to the side controls as well, you can see that there. And then we've also got a nice cutout for the camera on the back. Really nice case, feels, feels very, very solid. I like this one a lot. Very, very good case from Zugu. So next up, what we're gonna show you. Now, normally these mega gadget collections are tiny little gadgets that I go through fairly quickly. Um, but I've got a product here and I didn't want to do an independent unboxing of this on the channel because it's been out quite a while. Uh, and that's the Nokia Lumia 820. This is the uh, product package in here. And the Lumia 820, as I say, has been out probably oh, more than six months, I think. But Nokia very kindly sent me this for a reason. Now I'm going to take it out. I haven't unboxed this yet, so you're seeing this being unboxed for the first time. This is what you get inside the box. So apart from the Lumia 820 itself, which I'll just pop to one side, we also get a congratulations sheet on your new Nokia. And then further down in the packaging, we've got a little pamphlet box. This has got all of your instructions in and then presented really nicely inside the box. If I can show you that without them all falling out, we get a USB charger. We also get a USB cable. And then last but not least, we get a color-coded yellow headset. So earphones, hands-free, built-in microphone, push-to-talk button, remote in line, built-in built line sort of thing. So very, very nice that we get a headset. So let's put all of this bits and pieces to one side, and then we'll show you the Nokia Lumia 820 itself. Then I'll tell you why they actually sent me this. Now I'm not gonna turn it on, because the turn on 
if this will take too long for this particular video, but it's a really nice mobile phone. You can swap the backs out for wireless charging backs. It's got an 8.7 megapixel camera on the back as well with a dual LED flash on the back there. Let me give you a close up of that. It looks really nice, nice controls on the side in a contrasting color. Then we've got the ports on the bottom and a little speaker on the bottom as well. And then around on this side, pretty clear on that side. And a really nice uh, screen. I think it's an AMOLED screen on this particular one. And the reason they sent me this, the Lumia 820, is because they also sent me this, which is the Lumia 625, which is their new entry level uh, Lumia in the range. So this is the 625. And I think that these are so closely matched, apart from in color, but in specifications, screen resolution, etc. apart from the screen technology, which is different, this is a AMOLED screen and this is an LCD screen, they're very, very similar phones. And I wanted to see what this one, which is now discounted to be cheaper than the Lumia 625 offered up and whether I was missing anything by not getting the latest and greatest Lumia. So two Lumia phones, and I'm gonna be doing a comparison video on the channel very, very soon, just taking a look at the differences. And I'm sure that a lot of people are looking at these two because they're similar prices and thinking, should I get the older Lumia 820 or should I get the Lumia 625? So I'll take a look at that in a future video. But I must say I'm very, very impressed with the 625 so far. I've been using this for about a week now and I really do like it. The screen isn't as good as I expected. Resolution's okay, but the brightness and viewing angles aren't great. I'm just keen to, to actually try the Lumia 820 as well. So do keep an eye out for the videos for those on the channel. Right, what should we do next? Let us do this one up here because it's balanced rather precariously and I know it's gonna fall down if I don't do this one next. So this is the Bayon Audio Soundbook. This is a portable wireless stereo speaker with hands-free calling and an FM radio. You get up to 10 hours of wireless music, Bluetooth 4. It's got uh, external alumin aluminium, or they call it aluminium, aluminium and ballistic nylon casing, hands-free conference calling, uh, auto connect and pairing with NFC support as well. So plenty of features on this, and it works with the likes of an iPad or an iPhone or another smartphone with Bluetooth in, or even a computer. So if you've got like a laptop with Bluetooth in, you can use this and pair it up with this speaker. So lots and lots of features in there. Let's prop the product, prop the product packaging back up there. Can't get my words out today. Um, so this is it. This is the Bayon Audio Soundbook, and it's really nicely presented, extremely nice. I'm gonna give you a look around the back first of all. So we've got a couple of uh, inputs and outputs here. Let me just, I don't want to open it because that actually turns the uh, item on, but we've got some connections on the back for audio in and also USB in. And then we've also got this uh, sort of grill on the back, which I think extends the bass range of the speaker. I, I, I do find that it really does help having that on the back. And then if I show you the front, we've got some sort of menu or track controls just there, if I can get this to focus. Remember, I'm using the Canon 70D to record this. You're getting to see how it actually reacts. I think it's still tracking my face, but here we go anyway. So we've got some track controls on the top. We've got volume up and down, and also in the middle, a power button in the middle there. And then on the front, this is covered at the moment, obviously, but we've got the Bayon Audio logo, and then we've got this nice cover, and the actual casing is metal. And then as we open this up, it actually turns on. There we go, and we've got a display there as well. So this has gone into a sort of Bluetooth pairing mode at the moment, because I've got my iPhone, which is sitting behind me in airplane mode, so it won't actually connect at the moment. Um, but this is how it stands. So we've got this sort of angled stand. This portion goes on your desk or table, and then you connect via Bluetooth, and this thing goes pretty loud. I've been very, very impressed by the audio quality of this. Um, it's not fantastic, uh, but better than most speakers of this genre. And I should show you the top now that it's switched on. You can see some LED lights across the top. Very, very good feedback uh, on, these, uh, on the top with these LEDs. Shows you how much battery life you've got left. And just to, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this, but just in the center of your shot now, 
round about here, there is a little tiny pinhole, and that is the microphone. Let me just show you, it's just by my finger there. That is the pinhole microphone for your hands-free calls. It works well for hands-free calls, it works well for music. As I say, not the best you're gonna get, but it's a tiny little unit, and the, the audio that comes out of it is quite surprising. I haven't tested the battery life, but uh, I think it's pretty good. I think it does a very, very good job of good quality audio and the build quality, absolutely superb. So if you're looking for a portable speaker for your smartphone, uh, something you can travel around with, then do check this out. Well worth checking out. This is the Bayon Audio Soundbook. So I'm gonna pop that down there. You can see how it stands up really nicely on the desk. Okay, well I hope you're enjoying the video so far. We've got three more products to show you yet, so please do stay tuned. We're gonna get right on with the next product and it's from a company called Innertech. This is what the product packaging looks like. This is their uh, dock. It's a USB 3, USB 2 compatible, uh, serial ATA, two and a half inch or three and a half inch hard drive dock, model number FDU3V-1. This is absolutely brilliant for if you do upgrades on your computers. Now I have shown you this before, um, not this particular one, but I've shown you this type of product before. And the reason I keep showing you these USB docks is because people ask me all the time, how on earth do you do upgrades on your MacBook Pro or your Mac Pro? You know, you're always swapping out computer parts and how do you get your OS over onto a new drive? What I normally do, uh, for example, if I was doing my Mac Pro and perhaps I was upgrading from a three and a half inch drive to a solid state drive is I would pop the solid state drive in something like this, an external dock, clone it across using software called Super Duper. And once it was cloned across, then I would shut the machine down, take the old drive out, put the new drive in, up and running really, really quickly and easily. Now this particular one, primarily plastic, but that is reflected in the price. This is very, very uh, competitively priced. So, plastic construction. We have got some little rubberized feet on the bottom. Around the back, very, very simple. USB 3 connection. USB 2 compatible, of course, but you don't get the USB 3 speeds. We've got an input there for the power supply that comes in the box and also an on-off switch. And if I just switch this round, you get to see inside there, that's the serial ATA connector. So you basically use this and you just pop in bare drives, no casing, so bare drives in here do whatever you need to do with them, and then they come out of, the, uh, out of this particular dock. There's no sort of eject button, it's very, very simple. There is a little LED activity light on the top, and it just works. It's not fantastic build quality, but if you're looking for a cheap solution to clone in data across to external drives, then do check out this particular product from Innertech. Very, very good if you're on a budget. So let's pop that back there. Now the next product, I really do like showing you these products because I'm a big Apple user and USB, uh, I shouldn't say USB, lightning docks with USB synchronization and charging built into them for the latest Apple products with that lightning connector seem to have taken a long time to come out. Um, I'm not sure why, it's probably due to licensing and, and actually development of the products, but um, I've got a product here from Macalli. It's called the C Dock. Uh, sync and charge dock. Very, very cool dock. I'm gonna show you in a, a short while. In fact, it's just sitting down here on my desk. And it's got a really nice design and it allows you to both synchronize and charge at the same time. And you can use it with an iPhone 5 or the latest generation iPad. It works with both. Um, in fact, it also works, looking at the side here, I should also mention, because I do get asked this, yes, it will work with the iPod Nano 7th generation and the iPod Touch 5th generation. And don't forget, we should by now, hopefully this particular video I'm recording just before the Apple event, by now we should have heard about new Apple products and of course they all have the lightning connector as well, so it will work with those new products. Uh, now it's got a USB cable in the box, enough showing you the box, let's show you the actual product. And I've left my iPhone docked on it purely because I want to show, wanted to show you that it does work with a device inside a case. Let me just unlock my iPhone so you get to see what it looks like with the screen on. But this is what it looks like. Really, really nice. 
love this sort of curved design and then round on the back we've got the connections here for the power supply which comes in the box and also the USB connection and it just really is nice very very nicely designed now you might say that is a massive dock why is it so big well let me take my iPhone off and I'll show you why it's because we've got the lightning connector here which is flexible so it's uh, it's not rigid and that, they do that for a reason it's quite a small connector so you don't want to go snapping it in a device so it's got this sort of leverage bit here they do that for two reasons one so you don't damage your device and the actual connector but also because this takes multiple devices so depending on how thick your device is it can actually flex back and forth i'll show you at this angle so it can flex backwards and forwards so that your device rests up against this rubber section on the stand and also there's little rubber little tips here as well and the reason they're on there is because of course not only can it do the iphone but it can do the ipad and then the edges of the ipad rest on here and there's enough support this is why it's so big coming on to the second point it's so big because it needs a fair amount of weight to it so that it can accommodate the larger tablets as well as the iphones so a really nice design i absolutely love it love the fact that it's white obviously because um, it goes with absolutely everything that apple produce but this is the c dock from mac alley very very good device oh forgot to tell you on the base there there's sort of rubber strips so it doesn't slip around on your desk really really cool so let's pop this back down and then we're going to move on to the last product in this particular video before i show you this last product i'm going to ask you for a little bit of feedback been recording this on the canon 70d as i told you at the beginning of the video please do let me know in the comments section below what you think of the video quality normally i would record everything in manual mode uh, but I've left it in auto just to let you see how it performs. And I've also left servo AF on, so it does do this auto focusing as you move things nearer to the lens and further away. Um, normally I would switch that off. I would do something in manual focus. But for the purposes of this video, I'd really appreciate your feedback. Let me know how you think the Canon 70D is actually performing. So last product for this mega gadget collection. Here we go. This is the Triton Kunai. And this is it. Let me pop these on. Very, very cool gaming headset with a detachable mic. This is dangling here for a reason. I'll show you why in a, in a, in a moment. But this is really cool. PC and Mac compatible and mobile compatible as well. So it'll work with your mobile devices. And it is really very, very comfortable indeed. We've got adjustment on the sidebands. We've got nice amount of padding and rotation on all axis on the ear cups and these are really nice very very well made indeed love the styling let me just show you the styling on this look at this this is an awesome awesome gaming headset and of course on the top if i turn this up the right way we have got the triton branding on the top and then i said a detachable mic this is the microphone here and of course it's flexible like this it's like on a flexible cord so you can get it into a really nice comfortable position and then you can turn it and unplug it as well so you can use this either with or without the microphone and then if i just plug this back in and then lock it back into place let me just get it the right way around pop that back in lock it back into place and then you can't pull it out accidentally really really cool very very good indeed now the reason this cable is dangling uh, it's about a meter and a half long this cable but it does come with where did i put it here it is it does come with an extension cable you could use it without if you really wanted to but if you're using this for your gaming setup you can actually plug this in and this is a little sort of controller we've got volume control on this side and then on this side we have got a mute switch and then on the top edge here this is where you're going to plug in the uh, cable that's connected to the headphones and then we've got connections here for microphone and audio which would go into your computer so if you're using it with a computer you would use this extension cord with the remote and if you're using it with your mobile device you would just use this one here so very very cool headset audio quality on this is brilliant uh, the microphone i actually talked to somebody using the microphone on skype and they said it was very very clear indeed and the incoming audio quality I listened to a bit of gameplay footage and a bit of uh, music as well. Really impressive, 
very, very impressive. I'm gonna show you that product packaging as well. You can see here it says PC, Mac, and mobile compatible. This is the Triton Kunai. Very, very nice uh, gaming headset. And if I just turn it around the back, that shows you some of the other features if you wanna sort of pause the video and have a read on the back there. But really, really good. Um, 40 millimeter drivers in here and a three meter cable length. So three meters. Um, and of course you can use it for chat because it's got that detachable microphone. I absolutely love this. I really do. Uh, I'm, I'm a fan of orange colors, but these red and black sort of design on these, and they really are comfortable. Absolutely love it. You can see the red almost matches my t-shirt actually, but I love the red and black coloring on it. Very, very cool. Uh, and, and really good quality. Triton makes some superb headsets for gaming and these don't disappoint at all. Really do like them. So that's it for this particular Mega Gadget Collection. Thank you very much to everyone who stayed tuned all the way to the end. I really do appreciate it. Now I do a Mega Gadget Collection every single week on the channel, every Saturday, but next Saturday and possibly the Saturday afterwards there won't be a Mega Gadget Collection, purely because I'm working on some different projects, and uh, because of my schedule, I'm not gonna be able to produce a Mega Gadget Collection for either one or two weeks. I'll try and only make it one, uh, but um, yeah, just purely because of my scheduling, uh, there'll be a little break in the Mega Gadget Collections, but they will come back because they've been very, very popular. I thank you for all of your positive feedback. Please do subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.